Welcome back to round number three. When in doubt, we get to jund them out. All right. Currently 2-0. and oh. On the draw. With the league's first mulligan. Right? Um, it's a mulligan. I guess I have two chances to hit 23 lands. Yeah. Yeah, I like this much more. And I will bottom. The goif here. This way, I just hit the top deck one land, and I get to draw into my Bloodbraid mana. Okay. Now I wish I kept Goyf. up against Grixis Shadow, or maybe a four-color shadow here. I think I'm maybe slightly favored in this matchup. Stomping Ground, effectively an Overgrown Tomb. So I'm probably just getting Overgrown Tomb off of this Bloodstained Mire here. Then I get to untap with Bob. And try to curve into a blood braid. <laughs> now I'm doubting bottoming the goif. I think it was the right thing to do in the blind. It was I think it was either the goif or the bob. Uh I'm going to win the game by casting Bloodbraid Elf, most likely. So, ensuring that I get Bloodbraid mana on curve, I think, is very important to help catch me back up for my mull. Opponent's considering something here. Um, the fact that... I have a feeling they have a discard spell but no removal, and they're debating not curving out to get rid of my bob. It's either that or they're just grabbing themselves a sandwich. I mean, it's one of the two. Okay. Waiting for my opponent to pay costs. So, Bob's dead here. Bob's very dead here. And I'm going to be playing a Stomping Ground Tapped, and then into a Bloodbred Elf, most likely. That was a very good draw. Um, does that change things? Yeah. I'm going to try to preserve my life total if I can. I'm still going to have to shock there.
So I'm going to take three to cast my Blood Braid, so I'm at eight functionally. So if my opponent can get that Death Shadow up a little bit, I might just be dead. There's, there's the worst thing I, I don't want to see here. And then it's got the kill anyway. Okay, uh, it didn't matter. I couldn't cast Blood Braid. Alright. I want removal in this matchup. Plague Engineer seems decent. Uh, Huntmaster might be okay. Just kind of widens the board. Uliana might be okay, but probably isn't. I don't have a ton for this particular matchup here. Leon of the Veil is the single best card I have in this matchup. Bolt's good only if my opponent puts himself at a life total where Bolt becomes good. Uh, I think Culligan's Command gets a little bit worse here. And let's run with this. First, first little predicament we find ourselves in here with this league. Um... Keep this hand, it's fine. I have removal, I have threats, I just don't have a turn one play, which is a little painful. Opponent mulligans this time. I'm going to start with Raging Ravine tapped, and then I can untap with uh, a turn two threat. That should be fine. And we're getting an overgrown tomb off of this foothill. Opponent kept a no lander. Okay. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. Um, yeah, I think it's exactly what I want it to be. Okay, opponent's going to be on the play here. I'll just have a Liliana hand. I think this is fine. I get to go turn one Inquisition, turn two Inquisition, or push, and follow that up with like a run and six or something. Opponent targeting themselves here, so they like whatever's on top, which is good news for me, because I have another Inquisition. I guard the Stubborn Denial so I can cast the Inquisition again this turn. Alright, so... If... I take Death Shadow, they can Colgan's Command it back. If I take Colgan's Command, then they only get one use of the Shadow, and I get to Fatal Push it. The Dismember is going to hit one of my threats, that's fine. So I think the correct thing to take here is Colgan's Command. And play a tap land. As long as the opponent doesn't draw a thought seize, I'm in okay shape here. <laughs> that, was a, that was a darn interesting little chain right there. Alright. 
Uh, I think I might want to bait out a... Do I want to bait out a Stubborn Denial with Run Insects? I don't think I do. I think that's, like, that's kind of cute. Do you need an extra black source to be able to draw a lily? I've never seen Death Shadow run Spell Snare, but it's pretty effective here. Uh, here they can take my Scoos, and then I need a Blood Bright Elf into like a Liliana of the Veil to stand a chance in this matchup. The reason I put the Goyf instead of the Scoos there was that Goyf did not die to Dismember. Okay, so they can dismember my scoos, make their shadow pretty big here. I'm just going to block with this. And then if I top deck a land, I can kill them with Raging Ravine Goyf. I like that. Not setting my opponent up for lethal, that's for sure. So they dismember, lose four life, go down to three, shadow becomes a 10 10. I don't think I can block here. Um. So they dismember my goif. Go down to three. This becomes a 10-10. If they have a bolt, I'm dead. I think I accept that. But if I draw a bolt, I think I can win here. Not what I want to see. My Culligan's Command. Actually, the Spell Snare is really, really what crushed me there. So because they're protecting the dismember, so they can dismember Goyf and um, threaten Lethal with a shadow. It's been this little like play back and forth with that. They have TBR, I'm just dead. But I need to like exactly Blood Bright Elf into like Liliana, even that's not enough. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't think you have any outs here. Nope. Uh, good game opponent. Yikes. All right, well, sometimes they get you, sometimes you get them. I'll see you in the next one.